Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I am doing the after work routine as promised. Now, I wanted this to be as realistic as possible. So I did film this within two days because I did forget to show you guys how I kind of come in the house and get unready for the after work day. So of course I kind of just put my jacket away, kind of empty, go through my backpack and empty the things that I don't need at the moment. So like I took lunch to work. So I kind of took out my lunch bag out of my backpack. And then I kind of just take my backpack to my room and then go change and then i go back upstairs and bring everything upstairs now i'm just putting my bowl to soap i do not wash my thing in the work thing i know we have um because we have sponges but i never use the work sponge i would wash when i get home now this is something i forget to do i don't always do it every day but i try to use the clorox swap and just wipe down my phone because i've been touching the train poles and all that other stuff and then just touching everything and all that stuff off the germs i try to wash my hands a lot um as much as possible because i'm the one who tends to get sick a lot these days i feel like my immune system has weakened over time so anyway um i'm actually just getting iced because i had a leftover juice and i didn't want to waste it but it got hot so i was just getting ice so i can just put it into my juice um and yeah and then i did order food because i was just tired of everything around my area and also i didn't want to cook anything honestly so it was like buying out takeout and call it a day now i am kind of just i actually thought i was going to be more hungry but i ate just enough honestly so i was like i'll just take that as my lunch for the next day and that typically happens sometimes when i do have buy food it just depends on what i buy though not everything can be like save for the other day type of thing but this something like i can save tomorrow and have that for lunch because tomorrow is going to rain and honestly when it rains personally sometimes i do not like to go outside for lunch like if i could just stay in and not have to because you got to open your umbrella all this stuff yada yada i like to just have everything done and one and done Okay, now I'm just going to throw out the rest of the garbage and then I'm going to go ahead and you guys will just give you guys a little bit of AMS, ASMR as I clean my bowl. And then we'll move on to the next part. So the next thing that I always do after I have my um, dinner, now I do have my dinner like very early. I was on dinner today like 4.40 p.m. because I tend my breakfast, my breakfast, my lunch time at work is 10.46 a.m. So it's still morning time when I'm having lunch. So I generally, by the time I get home, I'm generally hungry. Um, I am trying to get back into the gym. I did horrible. I didn't go last week. Um, I did really good the week I was off on break. And then I am trying to see if I can incorporate more at-home workouts. But it's just really hard to. I'm just being really honest. Because I get so tired by the work day. And then by the time I get home, I'm just the only thing I want to do is, like, lay down in my bed. Like, because my legs get very tired and sore. And I think, too, is because I walk a lot of stairs all day from commuting, from just working. But anyway... You guys are not here to hear about me walking up and down stairs. So now we're moving on to me just kind of like rewriting my board, going through my board because some of it got really sad to do it over. And also kind of just a plan of what I had set for the week as far as um, YouTube and TikTok videos are concerned. Um, and then I was just writing down my days off because it makes me feel happy to know which one kind of gives me some hope for when my next days are off. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<clears throat> but the good thing is the seventh, as you guys can see, is a half day. So I'm I'm happy about that because um I can go home a little earlier. Um and because in the past I don't normally go early, so that's why I was happy about it. Um yes, I do have to do like professional development, but it's nothing too crazy all right now i'm actually getting comfortable because i was about to read um and i think i was talking to my Alexa. i just realized i did that but um i was telling it to like play some quiet music before that i had to upload my content my sponsored content for um uncle funky's daughter so that's what i was doing here now it got a little confusing because i was supposed to put it in dropbox but i guess i wasn't a part of the i didn't have access to it long story short but anyway i ended up figuring figuring out i just emailed them honestly to send my content because i was like i couldn't get in and i'd rather just have it documented that you know i tried it um and i sent it just in case so that if anything if they say oh we're missing anything i'm like you know i have documentation that you know it was sent because we do get a deadline every time we get it um a box that has to be done by the 15th of the month of when they whatever the, the campaign is happening so that's why i was like let me get it done now because it's already like the fourth and by the 15th i normally like to get it done within like the first few days of the month if possible and luckily for me like i'm kind of like doing a simple protective style right now so it's very easy for me to like wash my hair and go and do whatever i have to do but honestly by the way if you guys are interested in uncle Fungi's daughter my um coupon code is natural as abby and yes i do like them but anyway now i'm finally going to read my book because i was trying to finish it because i was pretty much almost on the book i had like just a small chunk of pages and i'm like i need to finish this book because i need to move on to a new book and now, as you guys may know if you saw my book haul that i am trying to read a lot of books this coming year Sorry, that was my Amazon tablet making noise now. Every time I thought I put everything on Do Not Disturb. Anyway, you guys are going to hear me talk for the next part. So stay tuned. And okay, so yeah. I haven't really been talking to you guys. But like, I saw people voting for the after work routine. So here we go. But um, I want to quickly come in here. It's already 8.20, which time goes like this. And I ended up talking to my family. And then I, I was trying to read, but I didn't finish reading. But anyway, I'm almost done with the book. I have like about this much, yeah, it's this much left because the rest of this is just like you know, the last like pages of whatever. There is two more books in the series, but anyway, um, I'm actually gonna go take a, take a pause, take a shower because at least I know if I take a shower, then when it's time to go to bed, I'm just done. I do want to finish the book because I'm almost literally done the book now, so I would have probably finished it couple of hours earlier but then I had other things that I was trying to do and finish so that kind of sidetracked me or I probably would have finished this like maybe an hour ago um and then again like I said I was talking whatever but I'm gonna get ready to shower I'm not gonna take you guys in the shower I've done so many like pamper routine shower routines I'm really trying to just get in the shower like in and out like a quick shower but I don't know about you guys but I need to shower morning and night that's just me personally if you don't want to shower morning and night some people shower only night and they wake up in the morning brush your teeth and wash your face that's it um but i have to take a shower even if it's a five minute ten minute shower i gotta like rinse on my body because i walk a lot i take the train public transportation i round it up to like it takes me about two hours two hours and 30 of commute and that's um going and coming back going it takes me about an hour coming back it takes me an hour and a half well sometimes an hour it really just depends on how the trains are moving um so yeah i have a long commute every day so i just feel like i need to be refreshed and cleansed before i go to bed but even if i didn't commute on a regular day when i'm off or whatever i always shower morning and night but anyway i'm gonna go do that also i'm gonna also grab my clothes i kind of already have an idea what i'm gonna wear I'm just picking whatever. I'm like an offer repeater. I don't care. I feel like everybody does that. Like nobody likes. Oh, you wore this again. Like I feel like when you work at school, it doesn't even matter at that point. So whatever I lay my eyes on, tomorrow is going to rain. We're gonna have a couple of rain days this week. So, um, and I'm doing really bad because I wanted to be in the gym today. I wanted to go in the gym, but like I am so drained. I'm even right now. I'm still drained. Like 
reading the book early, I was like felt like I was about to fall asleep, but I was trying to stay up so I could finish it because I do want to move on to my next book. And if you see didn't see my book haul or the books that I'm reading in 2024, you guys can check it. I'll leave it up in the cards. But anyway, really quickly, so um that's what I want to do. Um like I said, I may do a little montage of me doing my skincare routine when I come out the shower. But right now, I want to just head in the shower be really quick. Literally, like it's 823. I think that time is wrong. I think it's 825. Because my clock, every time I change it, is always the number always goes behind. Yeah, it's like a, a, a minute behind. So, it's 824. Let's say I want to be out of the shower 830 something. I already did my teeth. Because you guys know I have aligners, so I already brushed my teeth already, so that's done. So all we need to really do is just shower, and we out. So, all right. So I just wanted to be quick and to the point, real fast. Let me update on your nails now. This one is about to come off because I accidentally sat on my finger. I feel like when you put a lot of like pressure, you gotta really like hit your nail hard or like put a lot of pressure on it for it to come off. Now, I will say, I did have a few that popped up like I think I redid like three of them but I think all instances was because I actually like slammed it on accident I didn't mean to or like you know like you're trying to f lift up something and that's why I try not to lift things like trying to pick up something pick at something or lift something up I try not to do it with my nails I try to get like a scissor but sometimes I, I have to use my nails even in my job like I try not to try to use a scissor to do stuff but anyway Overall, it hasn't been a horrible set. Yes, here and there I had to redo them. But I notice every time I redo them, it always happens to me that the nail lifts up when I'm home. Which is okay because I can just fix it in my house. Other than that, like, not bad. I do say the prep does um, come with a lot of things. But also you got to be careful. If you do a lot with your nails, they're press-ons. I don't expect them to last forever. But sometimes in the past I would say I would get press-ons and like all of them are falling in a day. So I do feel like the method I use, and if you guys want to see the method I use, I'll click, I'll leave the video that I did. I do feel like the prep has helped a lot for them not all falling out at once. Because in the past I would have like three or four falling all in one day. But like I feel like now it would be like one just falling off because like I said I would bump stuff or whatever. But anyway, this is two minutes of me talking so let's quickly get into my... Nighttime routine. Time explaining every product because now it's 8 eight forty. Time is going and soon it's about to be my bedtime. So we're using the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. That's what I'm going to be using on my face. Then I'm just going to go in with this um, Skin Rituals Oil Control Serum. And then I'm going to go in... Um, so, I'm going to try this. I normally use the Suave, which is um, this one because I want to finish it. I'm like halfway to the bottom. I'm still not even done with the bottom. This is the Nourishing Cocoa Shea. That's normally what I would pick up. But I actually just, I actually just bought the Dr. Chills Body um, Lotion. I actually want to try it. I bought it from Burlington this past weekend. And it's um, a body lotion. It says 24-hour moisture. So, I just want to try it out because it's cocoa butter to see how like good it will moisturize my skin for nighttime care normally i would use this was what i was supposed to show you guys last time and i forgot to show it to you guys in the last video this jazz and e body whip butter that's what i use in the morning um and this is a black Erin business um i have a second one that i haven't touched but this is almost done i still have some more so of course you know i'm going to use the whole jar like around the edges there's still more so i want to finish up the jar before i open the new one but anywho so that's what I'm going to use in my skincare routine. This wasn't boring. Like, I didn't really do much. I did have a couple of stuff that I showed you guys, but not really because I was trying to figure it out. But, yeah. Before I go to bed, because it's about to hit my bedtime, I finished the book, you guys. Have some me. So we're on to the next book, and I decided I'm going to be reading the Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I said I'm going to read next one in a millennial, so I'll be starting that um i'm glad i finished reading this i i said let me sit here and finish reading it so i'm going to start this book next so we are officially done with actor h e brown um and we'll move on to the next one so bye guys